So there's been a lot of discussions in the last couple of days about a sub 250 gram drone that uh, DJI is gonna come up with, which is the DJI Mavic. And there's also been a lot of discussions that I've seen online about people saying, well, this drone doesn't require approval from the FAA. What does that really mean? So I've decided that I was gonna put this little video together to kind of explain what this means, what you can and can do with a sub 250 gram drone. Now let's take a look at two things. The first thing is registration, and then the second thing is airspace approval, which are completely different things in the regulation. So the first question we want to answer is, does the drone, does the Mavic Mini or any sub 250 gram drone need to be registered with the FA? And the answer is no. If you look in part 48, uh, 15. Now, I like to always quote the regulation because that's the only place where you can find the actual uh, the actual information. So, 14 CFR Part 4815 says that uh, the FAA is going to require registration only if the aircraft weights more than 0.55 pounds. If it's 0.55 pounds or less on takeoff. Uh, by the way, that's 249.48 grams, so uh, half of a gram short of 250. Um, in this case, then it doesn't have to be registered with the FAA. Now, with that being said, be careful because the regulation also says, and I quote, including everything that is on board or otherwise attached to the aircraft. Now, let's think about this. This drone is supposed to be 249 gram, which is right under 250 so that it doesn't have to be registered with the FAA. Now this gives you about half of a gram of lead way um, if you attach anything to the drone, if you attach leg extenders, if you attach a strobe light, anything that's gonna be more than a paper clip, a paper clip is about one gram, is gonna take you over the 250 gram limit, at which point you have to register the drone with the FA. Now, am I being picky with the regulation? Absolutely, but it is regulation, it is out there. If something happens to your drone, the FA can prove that you didn't have uh, you had something attached to the drone, it weighed more than 250 gram, you didn't take the time to register the drone, then technically they can get you and uh, fine you with not having a drone that's registered. So what are you really saving? Let's think about this for a second. Um, what you're saving is really $5 with the FA. Now you're gonna say, well, you're not telling the FA that you have a drone. Okay, well, that's your prerogative, but really I think you're, you're right at the edge of um, asking for trouble, essentially. If anything happens, I can tell you the FA will find a way to get you fined. It's gonna cost you way more than $5. And, um, and really, I mean, you're saving the process that takes about five minutes and then putting a sticker on your drone. But that's just, that's just my personal perspective here. Now let's talk about the other side of the coin, which is airspace authorization. A lot of people are under the impression that if you are not registered, then you don't have to request airspace authorization with the FAA. As you know, under section 349, you now have to get airspace authorization if you're flying in controlled airspace using LANS. In this case, completely different regulation, and under this regulation, there is no limit for weight, which means you still have to get airspace authorization to fly your sub 250 gram drone in controlled airspace. Now, if you look in the regulation, if you wanna see where that is located, actually there's no place to see where it's located because there's no mention of it because there's no limit for weight. If you look under uh, the old part 101, which is part of 101.41, which was section 336, for those of you that are familiar, the old regulation did not have a limitation. There was only about five things in there that you had to do in order to fly your drone. Under the new one, under the uh, HR 302, under section 349, there's also no regulation that says that a sub 250 drone is gonna be exempt from any of this. So with a lack of exception, meaning that everything is going to be involved. So if we look now under part 107, same exact thing. There is no mention of weight, so there's no limit as to uh, where this will apply, as to part 107 will apply. If you're a remote pilot flying commercially, you still have to get airspace authorization regardless of the weight of your drone. Now with that being said, make sure that you abide by the rules in order to get airspace authorization. If you don't want to register your drone because it's 249 grams, then it is your prerogative, then you can skip that process. Just make sure that if you add anything to it, then you're gonna to have to get the drone registered in order to fly 
according to part 48, the registration. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in there. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, in the meantime, let's uh, find out what this uh, Mavic uh, Mini is gonna look like in a few week, in a few days. And uh, until then, I'll see you on Friday for the next uh, news update. See you guys.